sounds that it makes. But let's talk a little bit about the geo geology of the Earth to see just why do we have glaciers? Well, first, what is a glacier? The simple answer to that is when the snow does not completely melt from year to year, it builds up. Think about thousands of years of snow, little thawing. Eventually, the massive weight of the snow, once it reaches about 100 feet deep, becomes ice that compresses more and more to form glacial ice. This is the closest I've ever been to the bottom of a big glacier like this. I think this is closer than we were at uh, Mindanao. If you hear the sounds of thunder, it's the sound of the ice breaking under the pressure as it's coming out to the sea. And look at the striations. You see those lines at the bottom? Mm -hmm. Like the rings in trees. <clears throat> it shows the compression. And then if we're lucky, we're lucky. We'll see a uh, a piece of ice break off. Oh! Wow! <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you see it fall? Uh huh. Likewise, the glaciers have existed in the mountains ever since the Ice Age. The glacier flow moves the snow and ice through the entire length of the glacier, usually in 100 years or less. So most of the glacier ice in Alaska is less than 100 years old. Therefore, it's not left over from the Ice Age. But, you know, Hubbard ice takes 400 years to get to the terminus.
hope it came out. How's my ear? I feel you. Wall. 
and the glacier eventually receded, uh, and it was the second largest glacial lake outburst flood ever. over there, look. Water's splashing. It's on the other side. Sea lines. Oh, sea lines. Okay. Yeah, she said she was talking about the bubble netting, uh -huh. and she said she has often seen uh, the bubble netting in past times in, in this here? bay wow. on the bridge, but not today. So where did you guys camp out? <clears throat> we were, I've been moving around. We spent the first part of the morning here. We tried up on the helipad, but it was too hard to shove around 
And I had a better view down here. And yeah, we tried on the helipad. We, we were on the right-hand side, kind of uh, three-quarters of the way back. Yeah. And we were, we were able to gradually move our way closer to the bow. Yeah, and then i just been hopping back and forth between here and the other side as the ship's been rotating. Yeah, I thought they were, they were done. Uh, when we realized, hey, they're rotating again. Yeah, well, we used to be a lot closer. Oh, I got three shots that I believe where I was just steady looking right at it. All oh, nice. When I started the cab, including okay. that big one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had a shot. I was just sitting there looking at it. A lot of people were saying, hey, that thing looks like it's going to fall. And so I took my camera and I just aimed over at it. Uh huh. And I was sitting there pointed right at it when it started falling. Nice. Yeah. I got three uh, great shots of the cabin. Oh, there's one over there. Including that big one. Yeah, I was looking right at it when it fell with the video camera. Oh, the, the real big one over there? Uh-huh. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think of Princess Bride, you know, when you hear the pops before the flames. Yeah. You hear this, like, oh, it's going to be <laughs> we were, right. I think that's on R-O-U-S on one of the icebergs. Yeah, that was outstanding. So you see the little corner there? You see a glacier coming down through the crevasse there? Yeah. And then I guess that's part of it, And but the main one is what? Going up into well, the so left? Well, so there's one over there. Yeah, that would have 